We can do whatever we want. Hey, little mama. One kiss, $25. Were your parents related, like before they were married? You're a jackass! Forever, 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 ever, forever, ever, forever, never seems that long until you... So today we have a topic. The topic today is classic Nintendo games that didn't age well. Now, my boy Sean, uh, Lab, L A I B, Lab, Lab, Lib, something like that. So my boy Sean wrote an article, and I think he, Sean wrote this article with the intention of pissing off the whole whole gaming community um it 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 just seems that way you know um mind you the title itself classic nintendo games that didn't age well if they're classics how can they not age well i think a classic just in the definition has to age well to be considered a classic but <clears throat> i digress and we are going to go over the games that my boy Sean over at Wealth of Geeks um, felt that, you know, these games now, you know, it's, it's just not what they used to be. So, or they are still what they, <laughs> they are still what they are. They're just trash. So the first one we have here is The Legend of Zelda. Now, listen, I can agree <laughs> that this looks atrocious. It does. It looks horrible compared to what we have today. But that, it, hold on. Thought I had to burp, wait, I do. All right. So, I mean, yes, like I said, you can't compare it to what's out today because obviously what's out today is thousands, <laughs> thousands of miles ahead of, of what this is or. But, you know, um, what I can appreciate about this game is just the way the way everything looks like, yeah, it, it's pretty simple. But I like this whole, as soon as you go to the edge of the screen, it kind of carries over. Now, I don't know if Zelda was the first one to ever do that. Probably not, <laughs> uh, knowing Nintendo. But, you know, I just, I, I fucks with uh, Zelda. And this game, you know, f for, if you were playing this back when it came out, like, what, the 80s? Um, you know, you, you would probably have tons of fun playing this shit, like... It's it's technically an open world 2D uh, platformer um, because from my understanding he can go back left and you know that type of game back then is just like it makes you go crazy man like you know so l l let's hear what Sean had to say actually because really that's what's important. So Sean states the adventure that started it off for Link and Zel Zelda feels very what i don't ugh, listen i don't know what the hell this nigga saying let's get to the <laughs> to put me the potatoes of this shit right it says uh the graphics are some of the worst on the nes okay some of the worst so the graphics mm -mm, that's a weird comparison because a lot of the games on the nes had shitty graphics and the open world exploration works better in concept than in practice See, now, I, I can't agree with that. The open world works better in concept. What do you mean? It, it, it looks great. It looks great. Like, okay, granted, Pokemon? It's not a Pokemon. Pokemon? Sh shit. <laughs> Shitted on, like, these, this open world 2D platform thing that people were making. Games that people were making. But, um... No, I loved how they incorporated the open world. Like, what the fuck? Is, what, the, what the hell are you talking about, Sean? The Legend of Zelda remains a vital part of the gaming lore because of it, because of the franchise it spurred. But nothing more. Whoa, he's cold. <laughs> he's cold. 
and i fucks with it i fucks with the direct approach he's taking and you know what i'm not gonna say valid criticisms but you know um no man you know yeah i don't know what com- comparing everything that came out during that time i don't know man i feel like that that was probably like frontier type of game all right so the second one is interesting now see this is where i say he's just trying to piss people off the second one is golden eye okay for the for the n64 <laughs> this <laughs> this sean golden eye for the n64 aged perfect it it literally st- the same game not a not a remake okay maybe they you know made things a little bit more hd but literally the exact same game that's on the n64 came back to the xbox was it xbox no or was it the switch no i think you could play fucking golden eye on the xbox right now <laughs> and people love it it, ha- it has online play and everything <clears throat> now is it like legit i don't know okay uh but bro what golden eye doesn't age didn't age well are you <laughs> come on bro bro do you know how much a <laughs> mint condition golden eye goes for listen oh no just disrespectful you can't say this with this playing in the background you can't make this statement with this playing in the background so let's hear what he has to say to justify golden eye 007 capitalized on the popularity of the first person shooter game during the 1990s by immersing gamers into a world of james bond the graphics are polygonal so like shit like shapely like really shaped (laughs) shaped bad like they look like fucking polygons and the controls don't operate like modern titles in the genre well no shit see this this is some type of satire and it's not funny sean it's not funny bro this game is a classic freaking game bro and 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 okay i guess you're not arguing the fact that it's a classic you're arguing if it freaking aged well and you know what there's some validity to what he's saying about like the aiming system in goldeneye that shit is trash i played goldeneye recently on my n64 i could not aim for shit like it, it's a little disgusting how you move i'm not gonna cap i i, I give him that but you know you also gotta understand we're victims of our time today we 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 have two analog sticks the n64 only had one so you know the controls are gonna be fucked up that's just what it is but at the time that shit was amazing and you got used to the controls because you were only playing goldeneye you weren't playing call of duty so all it's just not valid what you're saying this should this should never be touched how dare you sean how dare you look at this amazing fuck oh my god polygonal what are you talking about where you know everything's made out of a shape do you have you have you heard of blender everything's made out of the shapes okay you, everything's polygonal <laughs> anyway whatever the hell he said so let, let's go to the the next one okay and you know what <clears throat> the next one you know, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm iffy about i'm iffy about feel me He says, Nintendogs. Nintendo dogs. First of all, Nintendogs. First, hold on, bro. Let me, just, let me just hit you with some nostalgia real quick, okay? My Nintendogs still chilling, vibing in that virtual world. Having ate for decades. Oh, look at this. Nah, I... Oh, What's the reason? What's the reason? Let's see. Nintendogs revolutionized animal and pet simulation games on the Nintendo DS. And you damn right, you better lead with that. You better lead with that type of sentence. Because it did. Alright? People had Nintendogs for no reason. I had a Nintendog. 
Oh, you know, <laughs> I, I took care of that nigga. I I remember you had to you, you had to train your dog to go on competitions, bro. That shit was lit. That shit was lit. Can dogs die on that shit? I don't think dogs could die. All right. So anyway, he says, and the marketing toward children helped sell millions of handheld hand, handheld consoles. The simplicity and lack of extensive longevity makes the software feel more like a demo for the DS than an actual video game. Mm. What the hell does that mean? What does that mean? I don't... Like, I, I, I get it. I get it. Um, there's not enough lore? Is that what it is? You need lore when taking care of a dog? You need him to turn into Sparky, the, the 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 superhero dog. That's what you want. You want a you want a weird ending to this, huh? You want a Marley and me? That's what you want, bro. It's a Nintendo dogs. It aged perfectly fine. As a matter of fact, you put a Nintendo dog in my face right now, I'm gonna play freaking fetch. All right, so this is the the just not not valid, bro. Not valid horrible suggestion there all right i don't know i don't know what you're doing but i don't like it sean okay let's talk about it so listen this next game right <clears throat> I, I i don't agree still i don't agree i don't agree <laughs> so star fox uh and you know what in the last one of the last videos that i made i actually said that this game looks fun even today like um not saying that i would be like thrilled to play it or anything but <laughs> i'm saying that from uh from the lens of today i could see how this game could be something like you know i mean it how do I say? Obviously, none of these games will be anything today, but obviously they they paved the way. Especially this shit. People wrote documentaries about this shit and how it revolutionized like the 3D aspect of something of the game console at the time or something like that. I don't know. It's some weird shit, but this 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 thing has like very important. So let's see what Sean has to say. All right, come on, Sean. Let's let's see what you guys say. Star Fox showed that. SNES otherwise oh I'm, I'm sorry otherworldly graphic wait hold on Star Fox showed the SNES otherworldly graphical power back in the early 1990s while most games were confined to 2d side scrolling this game about anthropomorphic fighter pilots expanded the genre possibilities of the time period Star Fox 64 outdid the title in every regard. Now listen. I don't usually agree with Sean. But um. I'm going to have to agree with him right there. Because you know what? Star Fox 64. Is one of the best games. Just, just period, just period. the The replay value on Star Fox sixty four is insane. Like, just the fact of like you can finish it and you know that like you, you would have like you. First of all, there's other routes to go, in in the game, and then on top of that, it's just like you could always just do better. <laughs> And, has declared war. He's invaded the and then there's like maybe like six, seven, maybe ten ways to actually beat the game. Um, so you know what, man? I'm, I'm gonna have to agree with Sean on this. The, the 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 SNES did not age well. Aged like milk compared to this. Woo. This is still selling like hotcakes. Not really, but man, this this. This is amazing. Listen, go to any retrospect YouTube. Um, the Star Fox 64 story. It's my first video ever on in retrospect. So look it up. Um, yeah, I guess, man. I, I guess. 
I can't get mad at uh, Star Fox 64, man. It's just lit. Okay, so the next game is F Zero, and now we all know F Zero. It's, it's Captain Falcon's racing game, and my boy Sean had this to say. F-Zero's one-dimensional racing resembles the age-shooting mechanics of Star Fox. Much like that game, F-Zero introduced new mechanics to the scene, but the subsequent games in the franchise turned the first title into a historical footnote. And you know, I have no opinion about F-Zero, because I only know this from smash bros like i only know captain falcon bro i don't know f-zero i don't even know what i don't know the lore okay i don't know what it's about so i'm gonna have to take his word for it and i didn't even know they ha i thought this was one of the games i needed to reboot what what the heck uh, apparently they had other games you must be talking about freaking smash bros because i don't know any games of captain falcon unless it was on the gamecube or something like that but you know Sure, we'll, we'll give Sean this one, okay? So for the next game, um, Metroid. And I, I'm, you know, I'm not a, a huge Metroid fan, but I'm a huge Samus fan, if that makes sense. <laughs> But, you know, a lot of people fanboy over Metroid. They feel like it is one of the more, like, interesting games and just... Hold on. Was it Super Metroid or was it just Metroid? So, it wasn't Super Metroid. It was Met... It was just Metroid. And it was for the NES. Not the uh, Super Nintendo shit. So this is the wrong gameplay. Um, but however, this is what Sean had to say. Metroid brought a gritty science fiction universe to living rooms that were used to the Mushroom Kingdom and the Hy and Hyrule, you know, Zelda Land. And lands on every list of classic Nintendo games. Samus, Samus's first... A uh, journey through the galaxy doesn't hold up as today, as the protagonist controls kind of clunky and the weapons pale in comparison to future 2D Metroid games. Hold on. Oh, the protagonist controls are kind of clunky. Oh, so they're a little, eh, little hard to work with, I guess. But, you know... Like I said, during those times, people really ride hard for these games. Like I'm learning that there are tr there are like gang members, <laughs> you know, that are associated with like the Metroid gang, man. And, you know, um, th those people who played it in, in its prime when it first came out, they understand how great these games are, obviously. But I'm definitely not playing Metroid today. Especially not the first one, <laughs> you know. So I mean, if if I could, you know, being honest with 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 what Sean is saying, yeah, most of these games I'm not playing at all. Now let's just be honest, I'm not playing one except for Goldeneye. He way off, way off, bro. Be careful, be careful, bro. Be careful, cause you know you 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 muddying up the waters over there. Talking about the N64, you got some nerve, bro. And then one of the one of the, the, the classic titles like Goldeneye, bro. Relax. Take a chill pill, Sean. All right, so let's go to the next game, which is Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo. And hold on. Okay, so, no, yeah, hey, listen, I played this, 1992, sheesh, 1992, wow, <laughs> this, nah, man, this game is so lit, um, I, I, 
I would have to disagree with what I said about the other games because this game in particular, um, I would play it today and I would enjoy it like still. Um, but let's see what's what Mr. Sean had to say about this one. Super Mario Kart deserves loads of credit for spawning the best racing series in video games. Is is Mario Kart the best racing series? Like, are we are, are, are we giving Mario that because it's sold a lot? Like, granted, Mario Kart, like this one, Super Super Mario Kart, Mario Kart sixty four. Um, they're all they're all amazing games. So, you know. What the fuck am I trying to say? Hold on. <laughs> no, yeah. I, like I said, I would still play this freaking game. The game defines the term pioneer in every sense of the word, but the outdated graphics and the lack of game modes doesn't hold up compared to Mario 64, Mario Kart 7, Mario Kart 8. Okay, Mario Kart 7. First of all, <laughs> that's like 6 all the way to where we started. I would say Mario 64 and Mar Super Mario is a good comparison. Yes, Mario... Listen, anything on the 64 is shitting on people, bro. 64 really did that. Bro, there there were games on the 64 that literally got imported into the PlayStation. <laughs> okay? The PlayStation. Like, like the 64 was playing them games before, like, the PlayStation... Like, you feel me? That's one, or, I don't know what, what console came out first. Uh, the PlayStation or the, the 64? Hold on. PlayStation... So the PlayStation 1 came out in 1994, December, and no, oh shit, no, the PlayStation came out before the N64, that's crazy, so you know what, that makes more sense that there were N64 games that had PlayStation games, ah, so, ah, don't call me on that shit. I was highly wrong. <laughs> Listen, that's why we need Sean here to let us know what's up. Okay, so beyond that, right? So like he said, it doesn't compare to the ones of today. But that's an obvious thing. That's why this guy is trolling. There's no way he's serious about this. There's just no way. You have to be, tro you have to be trolling. And to be honest, if we're being honest, this game still looks lit. Like, I, I would still play it, like, for 10 minutes and then turn it off. <laughs> but I'd still play it. All right, um, <clears throat> the next one is Pilot Wings. And honestly, I'm not, I don't even want to hear what you have to say about Pilot Wings. I'm tired of people mentioning Pilot Wings. What is with the, these people and Pilot Wings? What did this game do for you guys? <laughs> like... Did you, like what was happening did planes was planes not invented back then what was so special about pilot wings from what i can see throughout this whole gameplay the only thing that happens is flying and then landing on the ground like what is what did this inspire fortnite is that what you're gonna pull out your ass about pilot wings please stop this with this pilot wings talk but let's read what he says pilot wings remains another vehicle focused uh, affair that focused on showing off Model 7 graphics and advanced controls during the 1990s. Advanced controls, really. The quest do don't ask for. The quest don't ask much of the gamer though, so the flying feels redundant and stuck in the era it originated in. Oh no, you you you're right. I agree with you. Whatever you know. Hold on. I agree with you, Sean. Fuck this pilot wing shit. I don't know who who in their right minds thought that that game was good. Um, let's go to the next game. Now, everybody knows Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. Come on. Oh, this is so lit. <laughs> this is so lit. 
dun, 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 dun. Hold up. So, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles didn't gather, or I'm sorry, garner much acclaim when it was released. And this ensures it hasn't aged well either. The side-scrolling fighter title moves at a slow pace and doesn't provide any depth or dynamic gameplay. I'm sorry? What? It said it doesn't... Hold on, bro. No. Dynamic? What do you mean? Okay, yeah. I guess... I don't know. I guess the only thing's different is how they look the turtles as far as their fighting styles you can pretty much everyone does the same thing it's not like donatello does something different from Raphael. so but but you know what donatello with his stick can hit things a little bit further than Raphael can that's a fact so fuck all that bullshit about don't having dynamic graphics you're a lie you're a lie <laughs> And you know what? The dynamic different, the difference of the dynamics in the the, the super villains. It's amazing. They all had different types of ways to hit, bro. Fuck, fuck what he's talking about. This game is amazing, bro. All right, let's go to the next one. Could you believe it? Could you believe it? Come on. Do you even want me to read what the fuck this guy's saying about Super Mario 64? I won't even. I won't even give you the time of day to disrespect Super Mario 64, bro. I won't even read what you said. I, I I can't. I can't. That is ho You have you have balls. I give you that. But it ain't no way, bro. Super Mario 64? What are you going to say about this classic? What can you say besides positive things? I don't want to hear it. No. I'm biased. For this one. Fuck Nintendo, but <laughs> This one? Nah. I'm not. No, we're not having it. We're not having it, Sean. Let's go to the next one. Because he just wants to push my buttons, bro. And <laughs> Super Mario 64, bro? Nah. Nah, bro. You're on something. All right. So <clears throat> the next one is Kid Icarus. Now, I'm going to I'm gonna have to take your expertise because I've never played this. Never knew what it was about. Kid Icarus presented a new kind of action slash platforming to the NES back in the 1980s. This is from the 80s, guys. Okay. The short length and old school gameplay make the title a snapshot into the decade it came out in. <sighs> made the title a snapshot into the decade it came out in. Was games more like lengthy back then? But the jumping doesn't possess the same oomph, oomph of Super Mario Bros. Wait, did you just say just because of the jumping system? Yo, Sean, what's up with you, bro? You're a real gamer. You know how I know? Like, to, uh, only a gamer would say something like, the way this guy jumped, it just... It, it didn't do it for me, you know? It just... It wasn't like Mario's jump, you know? I, I, something about that jump. No, I ain't gonna lie. His jump is a little little, little weird. Like, he's jumping, like, different... Like, it, it, his jump was choppy. Like, on the way down, he kind of, like, glided straight down. He didn't, like... Like, it's like... What is that? Inertia or gravity or force or whatever didn't, like, apply. Like, he just kind of went straight down. You should, like, kind of a little curve... Kind of like Mario, right? I guess. So I see what you're saying, Sean. But I didn't want to hear about N64 Mario, bro. Please don't. Please don't. Don't even start with me, bro. Alright, so. The next game is Duck Hunt. <sighs> um, I can see why. And, and, you know, just if I'm just saying what I feel... Motherfucker, Duck Hunt, when I played that shit recently with the gun and everything, I don't know how people were playing that back then. I really don't. I don't even, it just, it didn't make sense. 
Like, <sighs> however, what was there a sensor? I feel like there was just the gun and it, there was no sensor. Like, how did how did people even aim at their screens to know? It was such. Anyway, let's see. Duck Hunt showed Nintendo at their most creative and previewed the company's wait insistence on what oh peripherals the basic objective of shooting a duck with the ton go, uh with a with the ton uh what the ton with the toy gun gets old pretty quickly and can be played in the Wario Wario Wear franchise instead okay w wario wear franchise um okay so i mean look i guess so because really all you do is this this is what you do and he does that forever he gets the duck he hey i got it listen watch cory kenton's freaking uh gameplay on this remake it's fucking scary as shit it'll scare you it'll scare you all right but um <clears throat> so the next game right oh gosh see he wants to piss me off bro his job sean's job was to piss people off i'm it's just what it is could you believe what i'm playing right now do you let me tell you what sean said okay after the intro though okay I don't want to disrespect it. Zelda shirt, nigga Zelda shirt. To play, head ass. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is what Sean said about uh, yeah, Super Smash Bros. Some bullshit. This is what you said. Okay. You did this to me, Sean. You making me you're stressing me out. Okay. <laughs> Super Smash Bros. features a bare bones selection of characters and stages completed to the most recent release. Wait, hold on. Excuse me, my Dyslexia is kicking in. Super Smash Bros. features a bare bones selection of characters and stages compared to the most recent release. I just hate that statement. You know, <laughs> it's just a stupid statement. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Oh, oh, to its recent release, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. First of all, <laughs> why are you comparing the most recent? Like, that's just, or, or whatever. I guess that makes sense, right? Just to see in comparison. I get it, I get it, I get it. The, the camera pans out on the stage too far and the lack of variety makes the game feels like a rough draft of the future iconic classics of the future iconic classics in the franchise well sir <laughs> yes <laughs> that, that is technically what it was it was the first the first make is the rough draft bro but th this is just not a good point. It's just not a good point. You can still, if, I guarantee you, if you had four people playing Smash Bros. at one time, 
fun fun you feel me that's just a fact bro that's just facts no matter no matter what no matter if it was today or when it got released it bro this is just a horrible take it's a horrible take bro i'm sorry sean it's just fucked up bro what you saying and it ain't it ain't accurate bro it ain't accurate it's fucked up so the next game <laughs> hey <laughs> hey you really trolling for real so the next game is we fit i don't think this game aged bad at all <laughs> like especially you had to be there like when the Wii came out bro you had to be there because to understand how like it just took over and it was in everyone's living room and people cared about their weight all of a sudden when this board came like it, it was really really a sight to see the Wii um Nintendo always been turning up on the low keys like on the high keys but on the low keys like obviously everyone's like xbox sony xbox sony but nintendo been like low key just you know what i'm saying they on, they on cruise mode with it people like come on power world they like hey come on man we'll get there when we get there y'all chill out bro y'all niggas want to kill pokemon all right bro we got that on schedule in a good 10 years don't worry Maybe not y'all, but your grandkids will play that one, alright? Shit, we're making our money. Cruise control. Nintendo don't give a fuck, bro. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> um, but let's see what uh, Sean had to say about... The Wii Fit. Nintendo's dedication to the motion controls of the Wii led to some wonky ideas like the Wii Fit. Doing static exercise, uh, um, static exercises on the Wii balance board in the middle of a living room feels unnecessary where there's a gym on every corner in America. <sighs> That's not true. It's not a gym on every corner in America, but, um, no, I, I totally disagree with that take, bro. Uh, America was in a crisis of fat people. Uh, people made movies and all they would do is depict us as fat motherfuckers. So when the Wii came out, they knew what they were doing. They knew everybody was going to have one. And nigga, hey, we need to address this. <laughs> Y'all niggas unhealthy. Okay. They were doing shit like, and we are unhealthy. Um, They were doing shit like Nickelodeon. Go, nigga. They was saying, hey, they shut down the whole screen for an hour. Like, hey, y'all niggas better go outside. You fat niggas better go outside. <laughs> niggas changed the channel, but I, I, I like that little healthy thing we had going on there. Was that was that because of Michelle Obama? I want to say it was. Okay, everybody know Michelle Obama changed the vending machines in the, in the kids' school and shit, making everybody healthy and shit. Was she the one, you know, who, who started the, hey, let, let's, let, let's be healthy. <laughs> Yeah, because we needed that shit. And you know what? It probably was because the weed definitely came out. Um, Probably when I was in like middle school. I'm going to say. I'm going to say middle school. That's when Obama became president. I remember. I lived through history. So my kids are. You know, I was there. <laughs> when uh the black man. The first black man. McCain president. Niggas ain't like him. But, um. They voted for him. I liked Obama. And I still like Obama. Not, 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 not the Obama, like, personally. I don't know that nigga. But, like, him as president, I fucks with him. You know what I'm saying? What he stand for? He a legend. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. We fit? No, come on. That that was a horrible. So, the next one is Mario Party. Now, here's the thing. Mario Party 2 
um, it's probably like in that 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 league of one of the best games ever. Um, so I don't I don't know if he he was he was trying to disrespect Mario Party too. He just put Mario Party, so I'm I'm, I'm gonna throw him some bell there. Okay. Um. So let's see what he has to say. First of all, because I, you know, let's not judge him real quick. Let's see what he has to say. Mario Party spurred one of the funniest party series in gaming, but the sequel immediately improved every aspect of the visual board game. More characters, more mini games, and made the GameCube entries better as well. And you know what, Sean, man? You hit the nail right on the head. You hit the nail on the head with the hammer. <laughs> no, that's that's one hundred percent. That's one hundred percent true. So you know, I thought you was gonna come in here, you know, what I'm saying, disrespecting the the series, and because you know, two wasn't too far off from one. But no, you you understood. You understood because you can still play. So you know what's funny? Uh, there's this uh, is a thing. It's called Air Console. Okay, uh, it was an app on the phone. You can whatever. Anyway, they had this remake of Mario Party. Literally, and and they're not the first ones to do. It. I don't want to call Air, Air Console out, but uh, they're they're not the first to do that virtual like redo the virtual um, game board type feel chess thing that Mario Party does. Mario Party Two just does it so well that people literally copied them because it's so great. Number two is like it, it's it's literally like amazing. I'm not even capping. Um, let's go on to the next one. But no, like, to be honest, this game right here, no, like, oh, come on, bro. The mini games were so good. They were so good. I think I have Mario Party too. <laughs> Do I have Mario Party too? What the fuck? I gotta check my collection. I feel like I do have Mario Party too. If I don't, I need to go buy that shit. Cause this game is, is no. I do have Mario Party too. I do have Mario Party. Yes, I do. Shit, this is a game you could just like chill and play for, and it gets mad competitive. And you know what? It's anybody's game. Everybody know that shit. Anybody could win Mario Party. You could, you could, you could be winning until the last minute, and then nigga just get extra stars because he had all these coins and then he beats you and shit. <sighs> Love Mario Party. Um So yeah, you know, I throw I throw him a bone there. So the next one is a uh Well I, I didn't really um holy shit, wait a minute. Can we Oh no wait a minute Hold up. Let's just get this here. <laughs> yeah, man. Shout out to Ads, bro. You feel me? I guess. <laughs> oh, no. They didn't just hit me with the double. They didn't hit me with that double, bro. They hit me with a double ad, bro. And two of the unskippable ones. What the heck? That I feel like. How long that kid been a kid? I feel like I think it was like forty. Or... Um. So, DK sixty four, Donkey Kong sixty four. You know, not my cup of tea because I'm you know more of a Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong Country. That's that's kind of like my. I, the gist of what I what I what I like, um, but let's see. Donkey Kong 64 often gets <clears throat> often gets deserved criticism for its bloated collection obsession. The gameplay focuses more on getting hundreds of bananas, coins, and other items instead of pure platforming. Compared to the other rare games like Banjo Kazooie, Donkey Kong 64 operates more on nostalgia. You know what? That's crazy. I didn't know Rare made that Rare made Donkey Kong games at all. 
I knew they made Banjo Kazooie for sure, and I don't know why he's comparing Banjo Kazooie to in Donkey Kong N64. Was it the same type of like walk around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, I see why Rare handled it. That has a Banjo Kazooie transition. Wow. Um, twelve hours of gameplay. Jeez. Wow. What? No. Hold on. You know, I haven't I haven't played this, but I don't know. I, I'm I'm already iffy about what the hell he just said. I'm iffy about any N64 game he chooses. I don't like the, what he's choosing. <laughs> like, um, I don't know. I oh, wait, no. Oh no, 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 no! This nigga's climbing. No, nah, bro, you're tripping. You're tripping. I don't, I, I don't agree with what you said. Obviously, it's no banjo kazooie. Like this shit needs to be a little. Oh, what the? He has a hell of a fucking jetpack. Bro, what is going on, bro? No, no. I don't know what you said. As far as like, for comparing, what is he? What did he say again? The gameplay focuses on getting hundreds of bananas, coins, and other items instead of pure platforming. I mean. Okay, I see how that sort of can be a problem, but, you know, you just compared it to Banjo-Kazooie and, you know, a rare game, which is pretty much collecting stuff and and lore-driven. Like, that's most of Rare's N64 games. But, anyway, whatever, Sean. I'm gonna let you have that one. Okay, so... He... All right, obviously. See, this is another one where I feel like, why even listen to this guy? Like, why? Come on. Come on. Just off of, come on, just off of the intro, you already know it's bullshit. What is this dude talking about, bro? Orcarina of Time, bro? Let's hear what he has to say, bro, because I'm here to listen. Orcarina of Time remains fun to play 25 years later, but much like Super Mario 64. No. Alright, hold on. Most of the 3D Zelda games take the mechanics from it and build upon them. The pioneering adventure classic will always hold a special place in gamers' hearts. But it would sound foolish to claim Nintendo never learned how to make Zelda games better after this. Nobody said that. No, that's not even answering your own argument and question. You're just saying this for it's like for the, the reaction, bro. Like, let's be real, bro. Shut up. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? That's not even a good reason. Oh, they made so much be better games after. No shit. They had better fucking engines. What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> like, st stand on the point of why it didn't age well. What what didn't age well about Orcarina of Time? Please tell me. Please, please tell me. It's if Especially if you're even admitting that the mechanics... Like, they literally build upon the mechanics. Okay, so how is it aging well, bro? They're still using the same mechanics that they used before. Like, what are you talking about? Orcarina of Time, it's just... It's amazing. It's an amazing game, bro. Like, to this day, I could fucking play Orcarina of Time and get lost inside of it. Pause. <laughs> but I'd be happy. I don't think I, I I don't think I like where you're going with with all your your stuff that you're saying, Sean. So let me give you guys the last. First of all, look at this freaking masterpiece right here, man. It doesn't matter where you go, it's 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 amazing. Oh, this is the more 3D version. See when they remastered it and make oh, just, look at this shit, bro. You ever heard of that? Soft ass game, Dark Cloud. 
That's trash. It's just... It's freaking trash. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Ah, gosh. I just can't. I just can't. I just can't. You know Dark Cloud is trash. <laughs> but, you know, I digress. I believe uh, nothing tops um, Ocarina of Time. And, and that's where I think Sh Sean's frustration comes from. He He's mad because so many people ride for the game. Like, bro, obviously, because it's, it's fucking amazing, bro. Like, our people who lived through it, and I didn't even live through it, okay? I did live through it, uh, but I'm talking about when it came out, when it was so popular, you know, it, 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 was, it was that game that your cousin told you about that, hey, you needed to play, okay? You needed to play this game. So, no, no, no I, I, I shouldn't even read what you said. And you knew, you knew, you knew what you were doing because you connected two of the greatest classic games ever. You connected the Super 64, Mario 64, and then you, and then this one. You knew what you were doing with these two uh, choices here. So I, I peep, I peep your game. Don't think I don't. And you know what? Just to spare everyone, here, here's the last game. Tecmo Bowl. Pretty much, you know, football back in the NES days. And let's see what he has to say. Even people who love Tech Mobile can admit that Madden re re uh, reigns supreme now. This football simulation might entertain new gamers for an hour or two, but the old graphics don't allow for the true representation of the gridiron. And let me just say, that is 1000% incorrect. There is a game called the Retro Bowl. Uh, I'm, um, is it called Retro Bowl or Retro Retro Bowl? I believe it's called Retro Bowl. Um, and you get to play literally um, football in this in this type of graphics. A little bit more polished, a little bit way way better, um, but it has the same feel. Um, and you don't even get to to choose the plays. This is crazy. You crazy. You have to, you could choose the plays here. Um, and it's, it's so much fun. Retro Bowl. It, it, it's a, it's a really dope, really dope game. Like, I play it actually all the time. So, no, bro. Sean, I, like, I see what you did there, but, you know, you, you, you need to rethink, <laughs> you need to rethink, uh, the article you just wrote, bro. You might want to take that one back. But shout out to you, bro. I appreciate your boldness. And even though I don't agree with a lot of things that you said, you came through with your own facts and opinions. And that's what matters. And that's what the gaming industry needs. More people being very blunt and direct about what the fuck. Fuck all that. That, that nostalgia shit you feel. Fuck it. And just say the truth. That's what you're doing, bro. I appreciate it. Even though I can't hear it. I ain't really trying to hear it. I can't stand a nigga who fake it Y'all ain't listen when I said I had a dream And I'ma make it in the club Best believe I won't be dancing Got a shot, best believe we ain't romancing Get on the nerves, but we fucking every chance How you living, how you move, how you advancing